Hello and welcome to the pre-market update from Nirmal Bang. I am Hiral Dadiar. Overall shares in Asian markets have slipped in morning trade and that's pretty much in line with what's happening uh, with the US futures market as well. You have S&P uh, 500, Nasdaq as well as Dow futures which are indicating a slightly negative start in today's session. In fact, uh, at if you go to see US markets have actually taken a breather and that's the reason why we're seeing some bit of a dip. Dow, S&P 500 and Nasdaq all rose more than 2% last week. European markets also closed higher and if you see the US dollar index that was somewhere around in the range of 99.8. In fact last week the dollar index crossed levels of almost 100. So the dollar spot index has now recouped some of its declines from Friday's session. In fact, the 10-year Treasury yields are also turning higher. And the main reason is because now Fed has come out and said that it would buy securities at a pace of about $15 billion a day, which is at a slower pace. Uh, going ahead in terms of where crude is concerned, uh, futures have plunged in morning of Asian trading hours. We've seen a drop of almost nearly 6% coming in there. In fact, WTI crude plunged below the $16 per barrel mark and this is the lowest level that we've seen since 2001. Uh, overall, if you go to see, this is the seventh consecutive negative week that we've seen uh, in terms of where oil goes and in the last eight sessions, seven consecutive sessions have been of losses. On the precious metal side, gold prices fell around 2% on Friday, whereas if you go to see palladium is on an uptrend, silver and platinum continue the downside. Uh, so that's the update that we're picking up from the global queues. However, SJX Nifty is also indicating a negative start. In fact, it's indicating a start below that 9,300 mark. And the FIs have continued to remain sellers, whereas DIIs have continued to remain buyers in the Indian markets. Overall, we've registered gains for second consecutive week. In fact, from March lows, now domestic markets are up almost around 22%. So that's the kind of retracement that we've been watching out for. But now the key event that is nearby is with regards to where the earnings season goes. That's gathering pace. So what that does uh, to the overall markets is something that we need to watch out for. Whether the markets are actually pricing in uh, some bit of negativity on the earnings front. Uh, Infosys and Tata Alexi that will be coming out with their numbers today. So watch out for these two counters. And overall, if you go to see, apart from the earnings season, on the technical front as well, a lot that's growing because... Uh, clearly, we are expected to open a slightly flattish to negative note. There is going to be some bit of a sideways movement that could be possible during the day. Uh, we are seeing good support at levels of 9130, whereas resistance is seen at levels of 9370. Now, if Nifty is able to sustain above <coughs> That 9,250 level, there is a possibility we may witness the extension towards 9,370 and 9,460. Whereas on the flip side, 9,130 and 8,990 may act as support levels. And again, we would advise it to be a stock specific market and to trade calls with strict stop loss. If you talk about bank nifty as well, there is immediate resistance around 21,250 levels on the upside. And if there is a decisive close above 21,250, you could see Bank Nifty rise to levels of 21,740 and 22,270. However, on the support side, there is immediate support coming in at 20,440 and 19,330 levels. So these are key levels we should be watching out for as well, especially in terms of Nifty as well as Bank Nifty Go. And on the FNO front, if you talk about Nifty April futures, we've ended at a premium. Bank Nifty April futures have also ended at a premium. And the put call ratio is somewhere in the range of 1.37 versus a 1.39. In fact, the maximum open interest on the call side is seen at levels of around 10,000, whereas on the put side, it's seen at around 8,000 strikes. So that's the broad range that we have been picking out for. So overall, if you see the market data, if you see the derivative data, it's clearly indicating a slightly flattish start. There could be a sideways move that could be expected in today's day of trade and it's mainly the earning season that is actually going to give us some bit of direction as well from here on that's all that we have in the pre-market update from nirmal bank thanks for watching you could subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on instagram twitter facebook and linkedin